Hello, I'm Kimberly Morgan. I'm an independent certified Optavia health coach, and I have been wanting for some time uh, to give my clients and really anybody else who happens upon this video a visual of how to make uh, the five in one plan work best, how to get the most from the five in one, and what uh, I like to call do a clean five in one. So it is um, simple, but it's not always easy. And sometimes I hear myself on calls, kickoff calls and support calls with clients using certain terminology. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna start this new year. Got a lot of new people starting, uh, it's January. And I've got a lot of clients who got partway to goal, maybe went off for the holidays and they're resetting. And I just thought a good visual uh, might help people just have a better understanding of how to tackle every day when they get up and they're trying to do a five in one. So I'm gonna shift my camera and go to the end of my island. Hopefully you can, can see me. And I'm gonna talk through kind of on the right side of my island, how to work a clean, a clean five in one day. And then over here, we're gonna talk about some of the, some of the ugly pitfalls um, that can sneak into our day and keep us out of a fat burn. Um, and make our five and one less successful. So I'm gonna go down to the end and I'm gonna grab from the ground, of all things, a hammer. So what in the world does this have to do with Octavia? Well, I have found myself over the course of coaching people using the word tool a lot. And I like people when they open that big first box of fuelings um, and they unpack them, I don't like people to think, oh, I'm gonna eat all these things five times a day and I'm gonna lose weight. I'm gonna magically lose weight. Um, there is no magic pill for gaining health and controlling weight. There's, there's just not. But what I will say is in your Optavia box, you've been given the perfect tools, if used the proper way, to successfully reach your weight loss goals. So hammer, if someone handed you a hammer and asked you to build a birdhouse or a real house, and you opted to use the claw end, you probably could oddly hold it, um, gradually hammer away, but it would take you a heck of a lot longer than if you used it the proper way, if you used the tool the proper way. And so I wanted to give you that visual that there is a proper way to use the fuelings. Um, so when you say, I hear people say sometimes, yeah, I've been using some of those products. Yeah, I eat some of those products oh yeah, I'm using Optavia, and they have other things littered through their day. It's good that you're having some healthy options in your diet. The products are for sure better than any of this junk that you maybe used to eat or could be eating. So don't get me wrong. They are a wonderful option for health, nutrition, um, attaining vitamins and minerals and probiotics in your day. But if you're here and you're listening and your goal is to do a clean five in one, to get you as quickly and efficiently to your weight loss goal, which as a coach, that's what I'm here to guide and cheer you on to do. Um, then we're gonna talk about how to use the fuelings as a tool in the best way possible to get to that goal. So you can go online and search, and there's lots of videos out there about being in fat burn. That is the goal of this plan, is to get you in fat burn, where you're burning your own body fat for fuel. So instead of what? So I would just encourage you, go search. There's a lot of fun, creative videos out there with people talking about, you know, I did a little mini version here, three cylinders where they talk about what it is your body likes to burn. I will briefly just say, your body loves to burn stored carbs. There's a bunch of them. I had 80 pounds to lose. I had eaten way too much of this junk over the last couple of decades and hadn't given my body a break from it at all. And so my body just kept storing up carbs in the way of body fat. So what we're trying to do when we use the tools of this program properly is to burn through all of the stored carbs in our body. And once we do that, our body likes to move over into burning free carbs. So what are the free carbs? Those are the things maybe you've eaten most recently that the body's burning for fuel that haven't, you know, there's no extras yet that have been pushed over into the stored carbs. So that might be the little bit of latte you drank this morning. It might be the couple of bites of bread you had last night. So we'll talk a little bit more later about how we, uh-oh, get into having too many free carbs 
instead of burning our body fat for fuel. But the goal is to have no free carbs to burn. So remember that. This is a tightrope. That's what I like to liken it to. I have found myself using that term as a visual all year long of telling people this plan, you have these tools in place and now you got to get your tools every morning and just walk the tightrope. And it gets easier the more we do it, right? Just like with most things in life. It takes practice and it gets easier. When we're on the tightrope, we don't have free carbs to burn. So I'm gonna put that in the middle. We have an empty free carb bucket. That allows us to burn, and I put party confetti in here because that's what it feels like when you're in fat burn. You feel energized, you feel light, you feel bright, you feel the brain fog go away. It feels like a party in your head when you start burning your own fat for fuel. And that's what we're here for. We're here to have this party. So that's what we're trying to do when we walk the tightrope. So how do we have a good successful day on plan? I'm gonna start it with water. Water, water, water. I'm sure your coach has talked about the importance of water. If you're not doing this properly every day, the rest of this, I won't say it's futile, but it becomes way more difficult to have successful weight loss. So 80 to 100 ounces of water. And this water, I like to say, it's gonna follow you down the tightrope all day long. You're drinking water. If you have trouble drinking water, I tell my clients, pair eight to 10 ounces of water with every fueling throughout the day. It breaks it up into chunks and it makes it less overwhelming than somebody saying, hey, drink 80 to 100 ounces of water. That can be overwhelming. Okay. So we're gonna start our day with fuelings. Simple, right? It's a five and one. Five fuelings, one lean and green meal. The thing I adore about this plan and the reason that it worked for me, and let me tell you, I had done everything else. If you name a plan or some style of eating, keto, Mediterranean, whatever you wanna name, I probably had tried it at some point. But I never was able to eliminate all of this and I never was able to get my body to where it was burning only my fat. Octavia did that for me, which is why I'm so passionate about helping people get this part of it right and walk the tightrope every day. So I'm gonna give you an example of a five in one day for me. I get up in the morning, I love my frosted cinnamon crisp bar. That's my fueling number one. Very important that we understand what does it mean to use these things correctly? I'm not just eating my five fuelings all day, I'm allowed some other things. If you're starting this plan or returning to it and you don't feel like you understand the Octavia guide inside and out, I say, look, you've invested in this program, you want it to work, you wanna walk the tightrope. You cannot use the tools properly without reading the instruction book on how to use them, right? So invest the small amount of time it takes to understand this because it's not just about eating the fuelings and wishing and praying that they're gonna work. They work when you use them correctly. And so we're allowed a few other things on plan. We're allowed a certain amount of fat per day. We're allowed three condiments per day, but we have to be using them appropriately or else we suddenly start having some extra carbs coming back into this middle cup and we're no longer burning this and having fun and fat burn, we're burning some carbs. So I encourage you clients, everybody, anybody doing this plan, make sure these middle pages that you understand the lean and green meal. And we'll talk about that when we get to dinner time. That's when I normally ate my lean and green. And that you understand the carbs and that you understand that you're allowed two healthy fats per day and that you're utilizing them. Don't celebrate the fact that you're not utilizing them. Figure out how you're gonna utilize them because your body needs that fat to process all the protein that's happening here. So eat the two allowed fats. The three condiments are somewhat optional. There's an optional snack in there that when you're choosing to have one of your three condiments, we're going to be measuring. We've got to be measuring. Um, we can't eyeball things. I've been doing this for quite a while now, and I still, when I truly am in a clean five and one, I don't eyeball. Okay, so back to our day. We're starting with a bar, say a cinnamon crisp bar. I love it with coffee in the morning. I have a cup of coffee. 
I typically, my whole time I was in weight loss, gave up one of my condiments every day to my coffee because I hate black coffee. So I could have thrown in a pack of stevia. That is a condiment. A tablespoon of zero sugar French vanilla creamer is a condiment. Well, I didn't want to give up two condiments to my coffee. So every day in my coffee, I did a half a pack of this and I did a half a tablespoon of this. And I counted that as one condiment. So I'm one condiment, one fueling in. So then comes the mid-morning. The other thing I did is always set timers on my phone. So for me, I look at this and I see times. I see 7.30, then I see 10 a.m. Cinnamon swirl, mix it, in, mix it up with water as directed on the package. I never microwave anything the full minute. I microwave at 45 seconds. That's my second fueling with water, <laughs> with water. Okay, now I get to 10. 12.30, lunchtime. I typically do my potatoes with less water than described, about six tablespoons, and I put them in a dash grill. So here's where it comes into play that I tell my clients, please have an idea by midday of what you're going to have for your lean and green. Because you do yourself a favor when you do that. It allows you to know, do I have free, you know, free fats to play around with today? So that's where you have to understand this page. The proteins are lean, leaner, leanest. If you're eating leanest for dinner, which in this scenario, let's say I'm having shrimp for dinner, then I know if I'm having shrimp, I get two additional fats in my day. Well, that's a fun day. I get to add a Laughing Cow Cheese Wedge into my mashed potatoes or smear it around on the top. That counts as one of my fats for the day. If I know that I'm having salmon for dinner, salmon is loaded with natural fat, then I don't get to have this with my potatoes for lunch. So you need to have an idea. I'm not a huge meal prepper, but have a general idea of what you're gonna eat for your protein, for your lean and green, and it will help inform the rest of your day. And make sure that you understand this. Saying um, that you, you know, you think you know what you did for fats or you think you got enough fats or you're not sure. If you can't tell me what you had for your fats, you know, the previous day, then you're probably not doing this. You're not walking the tightrope, right? And you're probably not in a clean five and one. So understand these pages. You've invested in the plan. Let's do it the right way. Okay, 1230. So we get on down into the afternoon, three o'clock. I'm gonna pull my olives over here. Three o'clock, I have a shake. I make, mix it in a shaker bottle. I'm probably out running around school pickup. It's quick, it's easy. It, it takes no time to drink or you can sip on it a while. And then I follow it with some more water. So I drink my shake that's mixed with water, follow it, my water's still following me through the day. Another eight or 10 ounces of water. Now, you have an optional snack every day. When I was on plan, I'd say I maybe used it about 50% of the time. And if I was gonna have it, I would call it sort of the witching hours of 3.30 to five when I would get a little bit hungry. And so say on this day, I wanna have a snack. I'm gonna have, you know, eight, nine olives. I love olives. I try not to eat them every day because of the sodium content, but they are an allowed snack. And so maybe at four in the afternoon when I get back from school pick up, I have a few olives for a snack. So now, I've had a Laughing Cow Cheese Wedge and olives. So I have had my two fats for the day. Hey, dinner time, a couple of hours later. So let's say it's, um, I had my three o'clock. Let's say it's six o'clock because we're eating every two, two to three hours. I'm gonna cook my lean and green. This is where you must, you must, you must have a food scale and weigh your proteins. This is where this comes into play. I always tell people, so no eyeballing. I still can't even eyeball to this day the exact amount for seven ounces of shrimp. It is a ton of shrimp. Or the exact you know, amount for five ounces of filet mignon or six ounces of grilled chicken. Most of the times I find that I'm underserving myself. And don't celebrate that. You don't want to have four ounces of chicken 
and pat yourself on the back for cutting it, you know, not needing all the chicken. Your body needs the protein amounts that are allowed here. Your body needs that to stay in fat burn and walk the tightrope. Um, if you don't have it, your body's gonna put up a little red flag and say, hey, I'm hungrier than I should be, and it's gonna slow down burning its own fat for fuel, and it's gonna hang out waiting for free carbs that hopefully aren't coming. So you need to get in the proper amount of protein. So stick with this. I kept it on my counter by my coffee maker and I referred to it often when I was new to the five and one. So follow it, weigh the proteins, drink some more water with dinner. So now it's 8.30 at night and I'm watching Netflix and it's time for my final fueling of the day. Decadent chocolate brownie, one of my favorites. I mix it, I cook it for 45 seconds. Some people love to eat the batter raw, which is perfectly fine. And then I decide I'm going to use a little bit of Ready Whip and I put maybe one to two tablespoons and two tablespoons maybe is, a, um, is the proper serving for a condiment. And so now I've had another condiment in my day. And I think I only used in this scenario two of my condiments for the day. So that's it. That's a clean day on a five and one. So what happens when we have pitfalls? I'm gonna go over here. So we wanna be eating this and only this in this pattern. And so what I find people that, that are using the products sometimes, but let's just say like this was my daughter's coffee cup from yesterday. <laughs> I dug it out of the trash for this scenario, but you know, it was probably like a caramel macchiato or vanilla latte or something. Even if I were to have just said, uh, oh, ooh, that smells good, which it did. I think I just want, you know, I'm just gonna drink a little bit of the part that you had left and not drink it. What that does, it gives me a little bit of free carbs, even though I just had a little. And then on a Sunday afternoon, my son decided he wanted to order Papa John's pizza. And there were two pieces left in the kitchen. Now, I could have walked through yesterday and torn off, which I did for years and years. I used to eat everybody's crusts. I could have torn off a piece of crust and just eaten this little bit of it, you know? It's just a little bit, right? That's not gonna hurt. I mean, dang, I used to eat like an entire pizza. So like, <laughs> I can just eat this. Well, if I eat that, back in here goes some more free carbs. Then later in the day, it's that time of day when I'm like wanting a snack and I'm hungry and I should be eating my olives, but there's an Oreo pack and I'm gonna open it. And you know what? I used to eat like two of these six packs, but I'm just gonna eat one Oreo. One Oreo is not bad, right? Well, technically no, but we're trying to what? We're trying to walk the tightrope and stay in fat burn, having a fat burn party. So what does the Oreo do? It adds, a few free carbs, not many, but enough. Then at night we go out to eat to popular steak restaurant that has awesome yummy rolls. And there they are on the table. And I've done well. I've ordered a tiny filet with no seasoning on it so that it's not too high in sodium. I've ordered broccoli with no butter sauce. And I've ordered a salad. And so I've got a good dining out lean and green going on, but these babies are on the table. But what if you just had like a half of one? Because used to, when I would go eat at this restaurant, I'd eat like three of these rolls with cinnamon butter smeared all over them. So yeah, that's awesome that I think I can only eat a half. But what does that half do? It adds a little bit of free carbs back to my day. And then that night I'm sitting around and I'm watching Netflix and I think I'm gonna be good. Instead of woofing down an entire bag of microwave popcorn and a leftover cupcake from, you know, something I took to the kids' school, I'm gonna be a good girl and eat carrots and just a little tiny, tiny thing of ranch. Well, carrots, if you check that book, they're not on plan. The reason they're not is because they're one of the highest carb vegetables. Now, are they healthy? Yes, but while we're walking the tightrope, of staying over there on a clean five-in-one in fat burn, we don't eat them. 
So you think you're being good, but what happens? You add a little more free carbs back into the bucket. And so your body is happy, but you're not really on a five and one. And what I want you to understand is you could have gone your whole day and eaten all of the fuelings. And in your mind, you're doing Optavia. You're using Optavia. And don't get me wrong, you, you're getting benefits from the nutrition of the fuelings. And you're definitely benefiting your health if you curb back on all of this. And you're probably gonna lose some weight, but you're gonna lose um, at a pace that's not as efficient as it could be. And the main thing I am convinced of, when you still have this free carb stuff coming in, and I'll even say trickling in, trickling in throughout the day, you don't feel as good. And that is, to me, it is the key to success on this plan because when you are in fat burn and your body is burning up its own fat, the energy you feel gives you focus and it allows you to, to do this, to get on the tightrope every morning and say, nothing is like swaying me over here. Because here's the deal. Every time you sway the tightrope towards this stuff, you eat the pizza crust. You eat one, two, three bites of Oreo and then you eat some carrots at night. When you sway it over this way, it takes three to four days to shift your body back into fat burn. Three to four good, clean days. And so hopefully this demonstration if, if, you know, has helped in some way for you to have a visual and a visual motivation to do the program clean so that you can see, see what your body does with it, see how it can best benefit you. And then here is the beauty of Optavia and also why it worked for me. This isn't easy every day. And when you struggle, I'm gonna walk back down here to you. <clears throat> when you struggle, we have this little puppy. <laughs> and if you're not using this, you are not making the most of your plan. This is our life book. It is wonderful. And you'll see, I still keep all of my whys for starting program. They're up here somewhere in the front of my book. Maybe I took my stickies out, but there they are. All of my whys for why I get up and get on the tightrope every day, why I coach others. Um, there are things like wanting to live optimally in my health in my 50s and not like I did in my 40s to stop getting ready to get ready, to feel comfortable when I travel and I'm at a beach or skiing, to have energy in my life, to not want to be the biggest person in the room. I felt that way for a long time. Anyway, this will, you know, life book is personal. I don't want to get emotional because this is, <laughs> it's been a good talk, but if you're not investing in, in, in your time in this, um, you're making it more difficult for yourself because when you're, when you're understanding this and you're doing things like element four, where you learn that when this role comes along, <clears throat> you have a choice to do what Dr. Anderson talks about. Let's stop, give the brain a minute to catch up, challenge yourself with what you know about a good clean day and stay in on the tightrope and then choose, choose not to have it. Because nine times out of 10, we're like, why did I do that? Now, don't get me wrong. There's special events, special occasions where we're, gonna, we're going to make an intentional choice to eat off plan for that moment. Maybe it's a special event, a wedding, a birthday. But when it's that all day little trickle every day, yet we think we're doing a great thing and that we're on plan, um, I just hope this helps you understand that um, you know, there's, there's, there's effort that goes into um, just to understanding that all those little bites and licks and nips are what can prevent you from seeing the weight loss that's there to be had. So lean into your coach, whoever that might be. If you happen to be watching this and need a coach, I'm Kimberly Yeager Morgan on um, Facebook. Feel free to reach out to me and uh, just engage in this community, engage in the life book, um, hop onto client support calls for whatever team you're on, whatever they offer, and just make the most of the plan. 
and uh, enjoy your journey because when you're burning your fat for fuel and you're in fat burn, it feels really good. Thanks, and y'all have an awesome day. I appreciate you listening.